Welcome back to the channel. This is actually hilarious. If you take a look at the like to dislike ratio on this video and you look at the title of the video, there's a new Fast and Furious game coming out called Spy Racers Rise of Shifter and it's got 46 likes, 110 <laughs> dislikes. And I mean, you've got to just be a little bit out of your mind to look at the fail of Fast and Furious Crossroads and then go, oh, I know, we're going to make a Fast and Furious game. Obviously, you have Fast 9, the actual film, that I, I think has been released now. I'm not entirely sure. I'm waiting to find out a solid release date. If it has been released, then I'm just going to wait and watch it. I've already actually watched this trailer, and it's only 38 seconds. But the thing is, I have a feeling this game's going to be very, very expensive because it has that brand in. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to take a look at the description. And, it, I mean, it's, it's coming under YouTube Kids, so there's no comments or anything like that. And it says here, The criminal racing organisation Shifter is back. Use innovative gadgets and tear up the tracks in a globetrotting tournament. Players Tony Toretto, so not even Tom or anything like that, like not even Dom, which is his actual name. They've called him Tony Toretto. And the spy racers in a bid to stop Shifter from winning the ultimate high-tech vehicle. I have absolutely no idea what this game is really about the only thing i did see was for some reason my phone was on autoplay and after watching this it popped up with a netflix series of like an animated fast and furious thing so i think it might be based on that not 100 percent sure but what we're going to do is make this full screen and we'll have a look at this trailer right so let's play this instantly i'm, I'm gonna say one thing no i want to pause it on a better spot because it's, it's only a, a very very short trailer let, let me get it here. Right, this will do. This game, even, even though it's, it's based on like weird gadgets and stuff, it kind of reminds me of Split Second, if any of you have heard of that. But, um, yeah, this game looks as though it's already got better graphics than Fast and Furious Crossroads. It's as if with that game, their entire budget went on paying Vin Diesel to actually voice act. That game was an absolute shambles. I paid £65 for Fast and Furious Crossroads. I was one of the only people in the world that bought into it. But it was an absolute disgrace. It flopped so hard. And it's just a surprise to see another Fast and Furious game come out. Because it just seems as though more and more companies are trying to use the brand to make money. Because you had Crossroads, which flopped. You've got this. You've got Marvel's Avengers, which has flopped. So how many more like movie and like comic stuff like are we gonna see turned into games that flop it's the same the other way around though when video games get turned into movies the movies are normally dreadful so i, I don't know i'll probably pick this up depending on its price like just simply to just to play it and see what it's like but just i think because they've used fast and furious the branding i think it's going to be way overpriced for what it is but i mean at the end of the day if that's the case we get a rant out of it don't we so Fast and Furious Spy Racers, let's carry on with it. Already looks better than the Crossroads. <laughs> Just look. It really does remind me of a split second, but what's all this? I don't want paint splashing on my screen. I don't want shields around my car. It's like they've tried turning Fast and Furious into like Hot Wheels or something like that. I, I don't know. Right? That, that's literally all we get. November 2021 is coming out on PS5, PS4, Switch, Xbox One, Series S and X, and Steam. I just, I don't know. I'm, I've, there's no comments. I can't even check the comments to see what people are saying because it's been put under YouTube Kids. It, it's animated. It's like it's got the, the paint splodges. Like, what's all that about? Come on. The last game we got for Fast and Furious was an absolute disaster. You would think the next one that a company makes, any company, they would make one to try and bring the Fast and Furious gaming sort of side back to life. But then they've kind of released this. I'm like The target audience is children. You, you can tell that by the fact that it's YouTube kids, just the way it's designed and stuff. I really don't like the look of the paint splodges. I, I think that really takes away from the whole Fast and Furious. It is literally like they've gone... Oh, okay, let's use the blueprint of Split Second. Let's add in some gadgets from, like, Blur and stuff. And then we'll also just put different-looking cars in that look like Fast and Furious, put that branding on it, boom, there's a Fast and Furious game. 
I don't like looking into it more and what I've seen of the Netflix animated series. Like, I literally watched like 30 seconds of a video. I don't actually think this is fully based on that animated series. I'm not entirely sure about any of this. And to be completely honest, I don't really care. But what I'll do is I'll keep an eye on this game. It releases in like six months time. And I just want to see what they've done with it. Like, I don't even want to play it for enjoyment or anything like that. I just want to see how it actually plays. If it feels like blur and split second. But I also want to pay attention to the price. Because I do have a strong feeling. Because of that Fast and Furious branding. That it's going to be well overpriced. I think for this sort of game. Anything over 25 quid and you're having a laugh. Like depending on what they've done with the game. Because I, I think it might possibly be multiplayer. I don't like the fact they've called him Tony Toretto. It just doesn't make sense at all. It, it, it just go Tom. So it's not a complete, like, needing a license for it, just Tom. And I mean, technically, they've already got the license. They've got the Fast and Furious brand in there. But I, I don't know. This is... <laughs> I literally don't know what else to say. This game is coming out in six months' time, and I don't know how much they're going to charge for it. But I don't think it's going to be good at all. I, I think they've literally just robbed the brand in the Fast and Furious and gone, there's our racing game, it's now called Fast and Furious. But what we're going to do is leave the video there so <laughs> it's not like keeping you guys out of what you're doing for too long because I just, I, I found it funny after Crossroads how there's another Fast and Furious game making its way to consoles, like, well, gaming platforms and stuff uh, at the end of this year. So let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it.